space. It's pretty big, and there's a lot of it. These are the voyages of Captain Saka. My mission? To start with one ship and 10,000 credits and make a name for myself. Will I trade? Will I fight? I don't know. But join me, won't you? This is X4, a roleplay series. All right, let me get this thing on real quick. Make sure it's recording, everything looking good. Awesome. Hello, everyone. My name is Saka, and I am proud to say that today is a very good day for me. I sold everything off of my back, uh, my house, everything, to take up a job in space. I've got my very first ship. My very first ship here in the Argon system, and I think it's a pretty good one. Um, it's not that one, though. Let's actually go and uh, see our ship, and what are my goals? Well, to make a living. I figure if all of these guys over here, especially that big honking guy there, uh, can make a living out in space, then so can I. Let's go to my ship here, our elite vanguard, and let me introduce you to how our empire is going to start. There she is, the Hornet. One gun, but that's all we really need. Um, yeah, the sky is the limit, or, you know, space is the limit, and since space is infinite, um, you know, we have infinite possibility. Hello, good sir, or ma'am. I'm a captain, too. All right, so, I heard tell that the best way to get started and to start making some bank are some crystals in some asteroids, so, oh, am I too fat to fit in the door? Okay, we're through. All right, let's let's fly this beast. Whoa, easy, easy does it now. Okay, that does that. That does that. Rolling's a good trick. All right, so the ship wants to automatically roll me back to the plane. Let's not do that. All right, so forward. All right, let's try not to hit anything here. I'm a brand new pilot. And isn't this incredible? It's everything I thought it would be. Wow, we are in space. So, what are we going to do? That is the question. So looking at our local system, we have some highways we can jump on, some factories. Now that would be something to consider. Looks like some medical supplies are needed in this area. Although we don't want to go encroaching on, you know, established business. Let's, uh, let's not do that. All right, so I believe the first thing we will try to do is check out these stations here and sort of see exactly what we're working with in the grand scheme of things. All right, let's see how fast this thing can go. Travel mode, please. And once we get a bead on what is in our local area, we can uh, dis determine what kind of business we need. And in fact, it does look like there may be some asteroids over here. Sentinel. Nope, that is a fighter squadron. Let's not shoot those guys. All right, so I will work my way around the system here. And see if we can uh, get a better look at what's going on around here. All right, passing by a graphene refinery. Unknown station. Graphene refinery. Unknown station. All right, let's keep on going here. Silicon. All right. So graphene, silicon. I'm trying to get an idea of what kind of supply chain I can start around here. Looks like we have another gate out of here and another station on yonder. Yeah, we'll definitely need to get some satellites down and try to maintain some visual contact on this uh, system. Of course, we need money to do that, and I only have 10,000. So once I get a beat on what's in this system, we'll head to an asteroid and see if we can find any of those crystals Unknown that I heard station. about. 
A turret component Unknown factory? Station. And who do we have here? A lot of ship activity. Alright, medical supplies. Alright, so that's pretty much halfway through the sector. Let's try to head down to these stations and see what they're all about. So a defense platform factory. and a shield component factory. And right next to that, I'm seeing some possibly very profitable rocks. And I do see some miners around here. So that is one thing that we can do to try to get some positive cash flow. Is uh, get enough money for a miner and see if any of these places around here want to buy any ore. Uh, I believe mining would be better than trading. Because trading comes out of my pocket and pretty pretty sure we don't have much in the pocket to begin with. But once we get a mining ship, it's all sheer profit. So that is what we need to do. So let's take a look at some of these rocks. And I'll see if any of them will be what we need. Well, hey there, little guy. So we do have a little bit of a flash here. Weapons ready. Apolite what is that? Crystal. Oh, pull that in, please. I don't know what alkalite is, or a guacolite, but we will definitely take it. Let's see if we can finish this off here. There we go. Aqualite crystal. Yeah, pull that in. Let's get all of this stuff. And we will be off to the races. All right, I think we got everything we could get from that. Let's go ahead and back up and see if uh, we can find another rock that uh, will give us just the same amount of that uh, guacamole light or whatever it's called. All right, we caught a glimmer, and just off of this, take a look at this little guy. So purple. I don't know how profitable purple is, but we'll definitely not, uh, beggars can't be choosers, especially when we don't have much money in our account. So let's uh, all stop, please, and give her a go. Bandonite crystal. Bandonite. All right, let's get into it. Speaking of bandonite, I'm a bandonite shot here. Here we go. Pull those bad boys in. Now, I don't know how much carry capacity I have on my person. It's going into my private um, inventory rather than my cargo hole, which is good because this is not a cargo... Um, centric ship by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one, Goose. And I think we got that one dry. Alright, so that's some Bandonite. I don't guess it would hurt to continue looking, so I'll look for one more gleaming uh, hope of gemstones, and then we'll see exactly how much money we can bring out of all this stuff. One more glimmer, and it is a plum. Or purple. But let's uh, sneak right on in there while there's still daylight. And then we'll pull that bad boy in. Alright, let's go ahead and get all of this stuff pulled in. And we'll uh, make our way to the dock. And see exactly how much this stuff is worth. Oh, illegal items. I don't know if I want to be doing that. A spacesuit bomb. That sounds dangerous. Why in the world would I want to set detonate myself? Ooh, that was a big one. All right. All right, crystals acquired. Let's go ahead back to, um, let's see, a defense platform, medical supply. Let's head back to the equipment dock. And I will see you when we start pulling up. Let's go. 
All right, everyone coming in to dock. Looks like we might be upside down. Yes, indeed, upside down. Let's flip her around and get ourselves orientated. All right, scooch it on over. Just a little bit forward. And then we'll see exactly how much this stuff is worth. I cannot wait. Starting the day off with 10,000 credits. Don't know where we're going to end up. All right, let's lower her down. Reverse just a skosh. Oh, crap. Oh, yep, still new to this whole thing. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to scratch the scratch your paint. Successfully docked. Yeah, it's surprising, isn't it? Thank you, Welcome. buddy. And have I got something for you? I'm rich. Oh, and a salute. Thank you, Callan Kellar, who is a pretty good engineer and a pretty Hello. decent pilot. Oh, you're thirty-one thousand credits, huh? Goodbye. Yep. Goodbye. All right, to Trader's Corner. Let's see exactly how much money we're going to get out of this. Hello. Hi. Hi, uh, Mira. You may remember me as the guy who is now rich. Here you go. Show me your wares. All right, so we've got... Uh, let's see, there we go. Agulite crystals. We'll sell all of those. Bandanites. Okay, so maybe we're not as rich as I thought. Oh, we got four lodestones. We'll sell those. Oh, that's uh, not a whole lot, but 187,000. Yeah, I'm, I'm apparently going to need it. But starting off with a 18 times profit is certainly not bad. So just looking at the uh, catalog here, seeing if we wanted a medium mineral miner, uh, what it would run us, and it looks like it's going to run us around 300,000, so we're almost there uh, in the grand scheme of things. What I think we are going to do is, since uh, we're going to pick up our ship from the wharf anyway, uh, we'll do a couple jumps through uh, Black Hole Sun 4 to Second Contact 2, and end up in Argon Prime. So let's uh, start Guidance, and... Uh, Get on the road, shall we? Elite Vanguard. Yes, I am. All right, let's undock. See you later there, uh, Caden, or whatever your name was. No time to remember you, because we have a job to do. Now, if there are some more asteroids near Argon Prime, those will be prime picking for more crystals, I believe. So let's engage the cruise control, or not the cruise control, but the high speed drive, and uh, get on over there. So let's enjoy the sights, shall we? All engines full stop. We have a lockbox. So I don't know what is in this lockbox, but if it's just gonna be chilling here, then I think it's ours for the taking. Mellow greetings, fair lockbox. And it's got eight locks on it, so we need to be extremely careful with our gun as uh, we don't have a gimbling, um, a gimbling laser, so that's one. All right, it's sort of locking on here. Nice, easy does it. We don't want to pop this thing, that is for sure. All right, spin on around. Boop. Precision, I say. Nope, not going to chance it. We'll let it come back around. We have nothing but time here. As I don't believe we're going to get jumped, he says, waiting to get jumped. And one more. All right, pull everything in. Please hold. We will be scanning your inventory. Uh, who dat? That's the cops. Uh, go ahead Please and scan. Hold. I have. We will be scanning your inventory. I have nothing. 
Where are these police officers? I mean, it's kind of We've interesting. Contraband. Okay, We've uh, contraband. we'll dump it. Thanks for cooperating. Yeah, we do not want to ruffle any feathers. I didn't even see what illegal cargo that was, but we did keep a sand filter, it seems. But it's kind of odd that the fuzz were uh, right there to uh, to jump on us a bit. But let's see exactly uh, what we do have here. So the sand filter. So we've got three worth 2,300. Not exactly the best profit. And uh, yeah, the fuzz came out of nowhere. Anywho, uh, let's continue on. Heading to that, uh, that wharf. And uh, let's just pretend that this didn't happen. Excuse me, officer. I'll be on my way. Thank you for not blowing me to smithereens. All right, about to hit the jump gate. Ready? Steady? Entering system. Second contact. All right, so a brand new location. My first time being away from home. And take a look at all the asteroids. I think there is some money to be made here. Advanced Electronics Factory. All right, Advanced Electronics over here. Ooh, and we get to hop on the highway. All right, that is all fine and dandy. What is nearby? Anything that we can uh, hoover up, vulture around? Doesn't quite look like it. All right, so let's hop on the good foot and uh, head down the highway. Ah, another glimmer of hope. I couldn't get on the highway without at least taking a gander at this place. And sure enough, I see a little glimmer. I see a silhouette of a gem. Ah, more purple. So we learned last time that this isn't exactly as profitable as the green. Weapons hot, please. But it's still worth picking up. But what I wouldn't give to find another green establishment, that is for sure. Pilot, if you are hearing this independent pirate broadcast, you what is this? have been invited to join the Hatikva Free League's trade revolution. Trade revolution, you, you say? You create a truly independent safe haven. Work towards peace and stability for all peoples. Does that make we money? Need you. Do not hesitate. Check your mission offers to join the cause. You know, I'm all about the cold call. You gotta appreciate the hustle, that is for sure. I don't know if it's going to be profitable. Um, you would think like a trade league would be good at making money. It's something that we can uh, consider. Let's take a look at our mission logs here. Uh, mission offers, the trade revolution, or the trade league. Okay, so there's no time limit on it. We'll keep that uh, bookmarked in our in our memory banks. But for now, more crystal hunting. I'm wanting one more green crystal. I'm finding a bunch of purple though, so we're still out here making a lot of money. But I just want the one elusive green crystal. All right, picking up speed to get out of this asteroid field. I've been at this for about 30 minutes to an hour, only finding purple, but we did find a metric crap ton. It was a very profitable uh, 30 minutes to an hour. Certainly not what we could get uh, from big freighters and training, but we have to start small and we have to start somewhere. So uh, once we get to Argon Prime, We'll see if there's another asteroid belt that we might be able to uh, finagle, search for some crystals, and uh, we may have enough to get our freighter this episode, or if not, uh, we'll get our miner in the next one. But either way, we're going to hop on this expressway, hope that we get all green lights and don't have to slow down, uh, and we should... Yeah, that that is... Those, those peeps are hauling the mail, that is for sure. All right, so it looks like we are going to be on this lane right here. So let's go ahead and get boosted. Missed it. All stop. There we go. All right, let's hop on the highway. And away we go. 
Entering system, Argon Prime. And then looking for our exit should be coming up. Luckily, we're discovering a bunch of stuff, that is for sure. But uh, here is our exit. And it looks to be right there. All right, so let's go ahead and get on the Argon Wharf and uh, request docking Out clearance. Docking range. All right. I tell you, these things are so big that you uh, think you're a lot closer than what you actually are, but this looks like the docking bay actually right docking here. Granted. Oh yeah, consider deploying a satellite. We'll do that. Oops. Still getting used to my controls. Now let's deploy a civilian satellite here. And I don't like the fact that the uh, the mouse goes all over the place when I'm like, you know, selecting a menu and I pop out. All of a sudden I'm uh, on the struggle bus with my ship. All right, I'll stop. We'll get her lined up. Looks like we are at dock 18 indeed. All right, let's get... And we're pretty much right on the dot. We'll need to come down a little bit, of course. And one meter per second should be fine. We're not going to go slamming into our uh, the wall there. And hello, good sir. One thing that we might be able to do is no. Well. Don't undock. Can we get immediate docking, docking clearance again? Granted. Yes, we can. Just uh, getting in some practice. That's what we're doing. Can't be uh, can't be too proficient. All right, slide it on over and. Yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be proficient at docking at no time. And there we go, much better. So now that we've shown off our docking skill, let's get up and actually sell these well. crystals. We have a ton of purple crystals. Hello, Iaron. You're a one-star pilot, are you? Oh, but you're three hundred fifty thousand. Credits goodbye. because you're a good engineer. Well, uh, goodbye on you. Hello, Crewman Willem. Hello. Uh, you're a half a star pilot. Goodbye. Forty-three thousand. Yeah, um, you're a little bit too rich for my blood as well, especially since we have to uh, to get ourselves another ship. All right, so let's go to Trader's Corner, sell our crystals, and see exactly how much we have to offer. Hello, Julie. Can I help? Here yes, you you'll remember my name shortly. So we do have 245 Banite Crystals. That's going to be, ooh, 227. And we've got uh, three Rapid Sam Filters as well. Good luck out there. All right. So 416,000. I believe we have enough to get a miner started. So without further ado, let's go to the ship dealership. And do some shopping. Funny, my name's Gil. And two Gills don't make a right. Gil, I have a problem. I saw three of these parked outside the local trade depot this morning, which means only one thing. There's too many self-indulgent wieners in this sector with too much bloody money. Hello. But let us buy a ship. So we want a medium. Let's go with a mineral drill. And there we go. So instead of just doing like a, um, a minimum preset, I'll hand pick my stuff and uh, be right back with you. All right, so basic engine. We have mining turrets on the side and a mining laser up front. We gave them some shields, got them 10 crew. Okay, so it looks like that is good. So that will be uh, 336,000 and... Uh, Confirm that order, please. And can we see this thing being built? 
So the order is in, but we have a little bit of an issue. The, the station is low on hull parts. We need 90 hull parts and they don't have it. So hopefully uh, one of these fine traders uh, will come in, deposit some hull parts and we can get our construction going. While we're waiting, might as well check the messages. A unique opportunity and a wondrous opportunity. Well, we might take advantage of some of these opportunities for sure, um, especially since we'll be making some passive income, which is all well and good. Just uh, waiting for some traders here. Um, High-tech trader, hopefully you're bringing some hull parts. All right, trader coming in. I imagine since this uh, station is absolutely done on hull parts, they're offering a lot of money for uh, for those hull parts. So if you are delivering them, good sir, then uh, please deliver them quickly. No? No hull parts delivered? Well, screw you the most, good sir. Let's see here. Yep, still missing 90 hull parts. Someone bring hull parts. Ooh. Another trader coming in. Keep your fingers crossed. Ah, yes, here we go. The hull parts have been delivered, and our ship is under construction. So in 40 seconds, we will have a beautiful ship and take a look at it. Ah, this is what we've been waiting for. The first ship that we bought with our own, I guess, elbow grease. Mining those crystals, and now we will have our own ore driller. And once we can find a place that needs the ore, we will be all set. Yeah. Once that is complete, we'll go down, say hello to the captain, introduce ourselves, as we now have a business. Who would have thought? And there she is. Let's go say hi to the captain. Yeah, um, words can't describe how big this medium ship is. I could just imagine what a large ship will be. Drill. Yeah, Drill. hi, uh, let's go Vanguard. to the, uh, the cockpit. Oh, this is the cockpit. Oh, and here is our captain. I suppose. Um, nice to meet you. Hello. Hello, I'm your employer. And we have our name, the SS-02 Lodestar. And yes, indeed, I'm going to keep the, uh, the naming convention here. We'll get up and see. There we go, Captain Leanne. Leanne Kalina, who is a two-star pilot. Now that is what I'm talking about. So I think this will be a good end of the episode, everyone. So uh, what I will do is I will scout out with my own ship. Uh, the nearby asteroids. I'll see where they need ore and uh, we'll start the next episode by telling Captain Leanne exactly where to start. But that will do it for me. Uh, tune in on the next vlog. We're making good progress. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any suggestions on what I can do in the future, let me know and uh, I will see you in the next vlog. Take care.